ADR, this is King Black. In this video, I will showcase my very first stainless steel watch purchase. And this was quite a few years ago. This was after I became 18 and independent. And this is an Invicta model. Yeah, that's right. I said Invicta. I know there's a lot of love and hate. But it's an Invicta model. Reference number 0259. It is a black dial. But yet in the light, the black kind of looks a little blue. Which I'm kind of into. It's a stainless steel case. Has a day and date display. It also has, if you can see here, a moon face sub dial. And it measures 44 millimeters wide by 15 millimeters thick. It has a Swiss quartz movement, which means it's it's battery operated, it's not automatic or a manual wind. It has a fold over deployment clasp. It has a pretty solid band to it. I don't really like the uh, push pin in the bracelet. I prefer the uh, the screw type links on my Rolex Submariner than I do on this Invicta. But this was the very first watch, stainless steel watch that I had bought after I was 18. You know when we feel all financially independent and back then I was completely ignorant about watches so we all know the dreaded the overly inflated recommended MSRP back then I didn't know any better and seeing that this watch supposedly had at the time a suggested MSRP of over $700 and I bought it for sub 150 at the time I thought man it was a massive deal and after seeing a couple of people wearing Invictas you know I thought it was a, a you know a popular watch which it still is I mean if you look at the volume of sales that Invicta does no matter how much hate people have for it for their seeming homages to other watches I mean I've seen Seiko, uh, Seiko inspired Invictas I've seen some that seem to have components of an homage to a Rolex or to an Omega to an uh, Omega but uh, they also have a lot of original designs you know some of their Russian divers some of their uh, <clears throat> Aquanova Hydromaxes all nice pieces I've only had to change the battery once in the five years that I've owned it it does keep reliable time the moon phase still works but some of the loom on the uh, day markers is gone uh, looks like some condensation made it into the case somehow over time it is water resistant I have taken this in the pool I have taken it to the beach and it's worked fine you can tell by the case, it's been an everyday beater. It has little dings and scratches, and there's a little tiny ding on the crystal between the 12 and 5 marker. Overall, it is a good watch. It was an entry level watch. It was one that I bought for everyday carry, which I no longer use this everyday anymore. Just keep it as a part of my collection, as my first piece. 